next and the Guernsey Society of Architects wants the law changed so no one can falsely claim to be an architect. At the moment, anyone can give themselves the title, even if they haven't completed the minimum seven years training. The society plans to lobby politicians to try to persuade them to take action. Alice Humphrey has the story. Even the most enthusiastic DIYer should realise there comes a point when you need to call in the professionals. And that certainly applies when it comes to designing the house in the first place. But hiring an architect isn't as straightforward as it seems in Guernsey, because the title of architect isn't protected, so in theory anyone could claim to be one. I think by definition if someone's calling themselves an architect, they're suggesting that they have the same sort of skill base as uh, a chartered architect. And um, I mean, even in Jersey and the Isle of Man, they have protection of title as well, of uh, the name architect. So we just have to hope to bring ourselves in line with uh, other places in Europe. The island's chartered architects have had enough and now they're campaigning for their title to be officially recognised and legally protected. Hiring a chartered architect when you're undertaking a major remodelling project like this one may make a lot of sense. But there are other people in the island offering architectural services who aren't chartered architects. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're shortchanging their customers. They argue there's a role for them too. It almost implies that unless you're a, a chartered architect you can't work in the field of architecture. I mean that's totally wrong really. Um, we as an institute uh, uh, work in, in the field all over the world, in fact, uh, as architectural technologists. We work side by side with, with uh, architects and you'll find us in most big architects' offices and you'll find that uh, we work uh, on, on our own in small private practices as well. The Guernsey Society of Architects will now lobby politicians to try to persuade them to change the law. They say they just want the same protection after all their years of study that would be given to chartered architects elsewhere in Europe.